Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to How's the Heart, which is part of Nightwish's new album, Human Nature. I'm creating this series where I will be reacting to every single song from uh, the first CD of their new album, and I'm super excited. And this is, I think, the fifth video we're making, excluding, of course, uh, Harvest and Noise, which I've done a couple weeks back. Uh, and I'm super excited about this one as well. Uh, I haven't heard so much about it, so it's a complete discovery. For those of you who are new over here, hey, hello, welcome, nice to meet you. My name is Alvan, I am a recording artist, uh, I create fantasy and metal music. I've also been teaching music and singing for over 10 years, and I'm a huge fan of Nightwish, if you haven't noticed yet. Since I have no idea what to expect from this song, we're just gonna go ahead and react to it. some kind of heartbeat. Oh, okay, very pulp. That contrasts a lot with the writing you have previously. The line is so beautiful. The heart while it still beats as to no one, another jando. Sorrow hides well in your shell. The fellow man with her to spare, dear one, here I am to share. The writing in this song is actually a lot more uh, folk inspired, I feel. Uh, I think that the three first songs, four first songs, I don't remember how many songs we're at at this point, but um, the other songs we have been reacting to so far, uh, I felt like had a little bit more of a like contemporary music influence, uh, like and 19th century, beginning of 20th century, like there there were some elements that were kind of more um, like less tonal. Again, I'm not gonna get into <laughs> exactly what that means, uh, but it's basically exploring patterns that we're not so used to uh, hearing. And this one really goes back to something that is more familiar. So I'm sort of thinking that this is the, the Elan of this album. It's uh, the song that is a bit, more familiar, uh, maybe a little bit more catchy, and uh, that's great. We need songs like that, I think, in an album <laughs> uh, to be able to have a, a wide variety of different things so that everybody kind of gets what, they, what they're hoping to hear. Uh, and that's what I've always liked about Nightwish, is their ability to go from one extreme to the other, like have those very heavy songs and have those slower, easier to, to listen to, I'll say. Uh, more accessible songs and uh, that's really what caught my attention the most when I started listening to their music and I really love to see that that it's still something that they do because contrast is where I think Nightwish shines most and yeah. Those graphics are so cool. the sea Shadow story took the lead Rose of prudent head and note You know where That vocal line so You've cool. been there Now there's one who came from me A child of light and another tale Dear one Night will come but not to stay 
to quickly comment on those couple of lines. Um, this is just like an observation kind of thing, but basically what she's doing in this um, is it, it's going towards more uh, of a head voice sound, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's like a fully operatic to my ear at least. She's going for more of a, a, a head voice direction, but it's still kind of sounding mixed voice to me. Uh, and it's really beautiful, it's really light, and I really love that. Uh, but yeah, like uh, full opera vocals will tend to uh, have a little bit more... Um, sound a bit bigger, so like, I don't know how to, how to put it into words. Um, sounds into words is not the easiest thing to, trans <laughs> to translate. Words can't fully say what I'm trying to say, uh, I guess, but yeah, so basically for me it doesn't sound like completely operatic, it sounds like it has uh, still a lot of, uh, like it's it's more of a mixed voice that has uh, operatic sort of colors, but it's uh, kind of too light to uh, sound like a very opera to me, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like, I think it's a really nice equilibrium of style, actually. Uh, especially in a song like this, I wouldn't have seen, like, going full-blown classical, like, all of a sudden. It wouldn't have made sense. So she keeps, kind of, um, the idea of the song, and she sort of, like, just borrows a bit from, from there. And I, I, I think it's done in a very tasteful way, and I love it. But heart, underneath the silence, I was the one line must have been kind of difficult to sing actually also because it's very uh, syncopated uh, very kind of quick notes it's moving a lot and uh, I think she's really nailing that thing uh, I feel like this album might make her like even a better singer than she was before because of all the challenges that uh, basically to almost threw at her. Um, I feel like it's gonna really make her even more strong in those areas where I felt she already was really good at, but this must have been a lot of work for her and I think that like it's gonna make her so much stronger in the future uh, when they perform even other songs. That was a really beautiful song. I really liked it. As I said, I think this might be like more of their like slow or ballad song of the album uh, if we don't include uh, Harvest. I think that Harvest was not necessarily uh, the like slow song of the album, uh, though it kind of also was in its own way. I think the purpose of this song was just to kind of explore more things and do something that's completely different from what they usually do. And this one is more of like the safe song uh, that we find in every single uh, Nightwish album. It's like the equivalent of Elan, which is a little bit more 
not necessarily, I don't want to say pop, but like that is a little bit more accessible uh, and kind of is also one of the things that I appreciate so much about Nightwish is that they offer a wide variety of, of um, not styles, but um, they offer a, a wide variety of things in their album and they go, they have that very wide range of what they do. And that's always what I appreciate, appreciated so much because the days that I feel like I want to hear something heavy, I can go to Nightwish and find it. And if I want to hear something a little bit more ballad-like or something a little bit more soft, something a little bit more orchestral, I can also go to Nightwish and, and listen to that. So I really enjoyed this song. I really loved it. And I can't wait to hear also the other ones that are coming next. By the way, I also have one of my original songs that I offer to download for free and you can go and download it over here. And I will also leave the link in the description box down below so you can go and check it out. I create music in this sort of fantasy and metal style. And if that's what you like, you will definitely enjoy my song. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if you like Nightwish reactions and generally speaking love Nightwish because I do a lot of covers from them also. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up so that I know I should keep making more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to watch more reactions from me, I will actually leave a playlist right there with all of my reactions. Also, if you're interested in hearing my covers, I will leave a playlist right there also so you can go and listen to my music. I see you in the next video. Bye!